So a cell phone radiofrequency radiation was nominated to the NTP program in 1999 uh, from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration uh, based on several reasons, um, mostly uh, because of the widespread human exposure, and that's actually been increasing exponentially, it seems like, over the years since this was nominated back in 1999. Uh, currently, I just looked at some information this morning, and it seems that there's more wireless subscriptions than there are people in the United States. There's about 318 million people in the United States, and about 378 million uh, subscriptions. Last year, we, uh, Americans talked on the phone 2.8 trillion minutes. So if you divide that out, that's about 145, mi uh, 145 hours per uh, individual in the United States. So worldwide, this exposure is uh, estimated to be over 7 billion people. Uh, one of the reasons for the nomination was also that at the time, and even currently, there's very little known about the health effects of long-term exposure in humans to cell phone radio frequency radiation. And the current guidelines, which have been around for a number of years, are based solely on uh, protection from acute injuries, which we know are caused by thermal damage. And we know that human exposure is actually occurs below this thermal level uh, in what's sometimes referred to as the non-thermal level.